Hi everyone, John Martinson here, founder of RoboLinux. You can call me Robo, everyone else does. I've been providing you with free Linux operating systems since 2011. I still keep working to improve RoboLinux for you for free. Yes, I am truly dedicated to you. Apparently, very few people care about me, as long as they can get all my work for free though. Hmm. It is a sad world because people do not love their neighbors. So what's this new 10.7 version about as I build this thing um, on my laptop, all five operating systems? With very few days left, before Windows 7 expires on January 14, 2020, time is scarce. So all five of new RoboLinux 10.7 versions offer the user with an optional one-click, fully built Windows 7 and 10. The 7 is 10 gigs, it's actually 10.5. And the 10 is 13 dot something, it's like 13.2 gigs. And these are images uh, which Stealth VM will convert instantly on the fly. You can just drink copy while that happens. Only requiring the user to enter their Windows keys if they want to. We know you already paid for your Windows 7 and 10. Everybody else has. So, This is a radical time-saving approach for those users who are too busy or cannot handle the complexity of cloning their existing Windows partitions with our RoboLinux C drive to VM cloning tool, though I'm always available uh, to help out with that um, since I've been doing it for you know, years. Um, here is how I made it so easy for you. So watch closely please um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that I have taken my clone and put it in my downloads folder over here you can see it note that it has to be all caps pc.vhd okay and that's something that you know you you select in your cloning tool um, of course that's you know PDFs and everything but uh, something to add here now uh, it's in the downloads folder. I've already installed RoboLinux, um, Stealth VM, that is. And just to show you how quickly I can get you up and running, um, this one is a image of Windows 7 64-bit. So let's go ahead and click it. And it's going to load the file off the server. And you just say yes. It's just really telling you how it works. Um, there's no license agreement or anything. So um, now you're just converting the image. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. It really is going to take about a little under two minutes. Um, but you know that's not going to be common because I do have fully optimized, specialized IOPT uh, SSDs that I'm hanging on to. Um, so. It's, I could probably just sit here and you'll see it's only going to be a minute and a half, but I'll save your time anyway. Okay, let's uh, see how that conversion came out from the PC.bhd file for Windows 7. We're just going to load VirtualBox. You can do that through administration if you want to. Um, there it is. Um, you can put it over here in Favorites, or you can put it on your panel the bottom. So let's just see how that thing turned out. I'm sure it was fine. Still got some coffee left to drink. Um, and okay, so um, you'll note that we, well, we, me and my laptop, um, note that uh, this image um, comes with disk to VHD. 
so that you can add your applications. Um, so, but you can clone your clone using disk to VHD, which is actually the core of our C drive to VM um, support package for Windows XP and 7 and 10. And you'll notice you have your shared Linux uh, partition here. Um, so there you have it. Um, same story with Windows 10. Um, it's very easy. Um, and uh, of course, if you want to, um, you can clone what you have and do the same thing I just did. Okay, so that's going to be enough uh, demonstration here of how easy it is uh, to take uh, a PC VHD image and just install it inside Robo Linux. You can do the same thing in other Linux operating systems because we support, uh, we, me and my laptop, <laughs> uh, support uh, uh, all the other Debian's and RPM's. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a shutdown here and uh, I'll talk very briefly about some changes that were good. Um, one was Cinnamon no longer requires you to type in live to log in when you uh, download a new version and run it live. There's no more required live username. Now in Cinnamon, uh, I had to get rid of Kazam. It's the only version that I had to remove it from because it doesn't work with the new version of uh, of uh, Cinnamon did was um, I searched around and and spent some time uh, testing things and I found one called Simple Screen Recorder and that's what I've been using and actually it's may say simple and it is they're right about that but it is great so quite powerful easy to use and uh, so that's the change for Cinnamon and oh another thing every single ISO has been reduced by 400 megabytes and I hope that you have a wonderful day and uh, may Yahweh bless you and your family